All right. Hey, guys, let's do a little review on what we've done so far with this magnificent ship. The last time we uh, worked in completing the Part C of the instruction manual, you can see we got all the stuff on in the back, the ornate woodwork. The uh, I'm not sure what these are. I don't know if they're just for decoration or if they were really on ships, but they're pretty cool looking. We did them on both sides. We got the torches on the back. We got the wheel. We got the anchor wheel. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's for the anchor. All the way down to the bow. So it's looking pretty cool. We got the base. So let's move on in the instructions. I think we're gonna be going to the mass in this video. Okay, we're going to be moving on to step D. We're going to be working on masts and sails right here. And 135. And what is that? 129 and 127. Well, here's 127. And what was the other one? 129. And we need 130, 125. So here's 130. Put that there for now. And 125 which is this. So let's put those aside. So we have everything in the first box. So let's start that. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to need 124, 132, and 133, and 131. So 131, 132, 133, 131. This one is 132. And 133. This out. Now, cruise nest.
that's all set. And it looks like these two sections are going to go together and they're going to interlock. So that's what we've got so far. All right, so now we're going to take 140 and 141, which is looks like rat line. And 141. So it looks like it's going to go into the tab. Yeah, <laughs> it's starting to look pretty wild. Okay, what's next? Now, we're going to get parts 150 and 151. Again, you want to be careful with these. So we got 150, 151, and this looks like a bracket that's going to hold a sail into place. 150, 151, 143. So here's 143. And 152. We got 152 right here. And 162 is right here. This is our first sale. So we want to be extra careful getting the sales out. So that actually looks, that actually pr looks pretty wild. So that looks, and then this is surprisingly sturdy. Okay, so it looks like the sail is billowed. And see how it's held in place at the top and the bottom. Okay, so now what's next? What we need is 143. And 149. So this is 143. And 
and that's going to hold the sails in place and there's two of those and 149 which is this part over here 165 so we're going to carefully remove this So it would look just like that. Okay, so that looks like that's everything for this for this piece or section. So we'll put this aside for now. Okay, we're going to move on to the next section. We're going to do the same thing. So we would need 177, 176, and 176, okay, and later we're going to have 178 and 179, so... 178, 179. This is all set. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the second box. 73, 74, and 175. 174. And 175. And we're going to need 167. 
which is this one, be another platform. So here's 181, and we'll put that over there for now. Yes, it did go this way okay it just didn't look right for some reason but that's the way it's supposed to go okay and this goes just like that and everything is in place all right so that's all set so now we're going to take 168 69 and 7 168 169 And one seventy one, one seventy one, one eighty three. Here is one eighty three, and one sixty six. And one sixty six. That looks pretty cool. And 172. And again, we're going to be careful with this one.
Okay, so what we're going to do now is this section is going to be added to this section, just like that. And let's move on. I'm, I'm betting that we're going to put sails on now. Yep, there's going to be rats' nests and sails going on. Here's 191. Okay, so I guess that's how it's supposed to go. And everything is in place, but you can see it kind of looks crooked. <clears throat> or maybe it's just an optical illusion, the way the, uh, the rat lines are going. But that's all set, so now we're going to take out the parts that are going to hold the sails. So we're going to need quite a few on this. Let's work from the bottom up. bring the angle out just a little bit so you can see okay that's the bottom sail and put that aside and we're going to go on to do the next one so we need another 190 186 And we're going to need for the sale 154.
that's like gonna go like that. <clears throat> and let's see, for the last sale, we're gonna need 190, 189, 188. The sale is gonna be a bit smaller. And 189. And for the sale, we're going to have 155. And maybe it's not supposed to be perfectly straight because it is a ghost ship. But the sails look straight. So, like I said, maybe that's just an optical illusion as how it's supposed to look. But, okay, that section is all set. So we gotta put this somewhere. Let's put this over to the side. Okay, what's next? Okay, we're gonna do another mask. And 208. And we got 211 and 214. So we got 211 right here. And 214. And our little coat rack. And 214 is going to slot right into the U. Just like that. And see, the rear mast is all ready to go. Okay, so this box is done. So. For the next box, we're going to need 201, 205, and 206.
just like that. And I think we're going to be ready to put the sails on. Or actually, we might be putting the rat lines on. So let's move on. Yep. So we're going to be putting on 224, 25, 222, and 223. These went on a little more uh, easier than the uh, the ones for the middle mast. Okay, so these are on, and I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to start doing the uh, the sails again. Okay, this one is done. Let's see what's next. Oh, it looks like we're going to start to do the rigging. 243, 244, and 247. And it's 249. 
here is 226. I'm thinking that's 227. That goes on the other side. All right, what else do we need for this section? It looks like for now that's everything. But what we're going to have to do first is we got some work to do on the bottom of the ship. So you guys can see, we're actually going to put the sticker, the heads on the outside. And we're going to actually tape or use the stickers to uh, keep the, the hull solid. And we're going to do that first before we start putting the mass on. But I'm going to clean up this mess. We're going to start from the forward end. And we're going to start with T31 and work our way down to T40. So this side we're going to work our way down the hull of the ship and we're going to start with T31. And what it's going to kind of do is it's, it's going to hide the, the seam. All right, let's go on to the next one. Does a good job making it 3D as well. Okay, on to T34. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. You can see the effect is pretty nice. All right, so now we're going to do the little ghoul faces on the inside. And we're going to start with T11. And we're going to work our way down. On this side so we'll start with T11 and punch it through you can use the mouth to guide on where the sticker is going to go all right on to T12 That's a pretty cool effect. All right, let me just do them all, and then I'll show you what it looks like when they're all on the side. All right, so you can see that 3D effect it looks pretty good. I got all the faces stuck on, all the ghoul faces, and all of the, uh, the strips, the wooden strips that are coming down. Now, it shows you this side and it also shows you um, the others so we got to do the other side too let me turn the ship around and the first thing I'll do is I'll put all the strips on and I'll show you what the strips look like there we are <clears throat> so in order to save time on the video, um, I just want to show you, I put all the strips into place. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put all the ghoul faces on. And again, to save time, I'll show you what they look like when I got them all, all right. on the side. So check that out, guys. We got all the faces on. And we got the wood strips. Now what we're going to do is the last part of the stickers that we got to put onto the bow section to make that look kind of 3D and I'll show you what that is. You guys remember we had done the same thing to the other side, but now we got to we got to put this section on and I'll show you what that looks like as soon as it's finished. You can see a little bit of the sections. You can see we got the uh, the stickers on. This is the one we just finished. Yeah, this is the one we just just finished. You can see we're going to put it into the front of the ship. And let's carefully get 
the one we just finished. And this is gonna go right in the front, just like that. All right, now we gotta do the other side. It's getting harder to turn her. <laughs> she's uh, she's pretty big, guys. If, you, if you're thinking about getting something that's relatively small, um, you're gonna be surprised when you get this. I didn't realize how big it was gonna be myself. I, the pictures, you know, don't give you the scale of it. But she is large. All right, so. Okay, so. We got the rat lines on. And we got the mast on the ship. So let's see what's next. We got to start putting on the um, the rigging. Okay, 247. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. All right. What I'll do is when the pieces are on, I'll take it, I'll take you off the tripod. Okay, now we need 246 and 249 is 249. As of right now, I don't see one for the other side. They don't have one for the other side, so it's just going to be for that section. And then we'll help keep this together. All right, so now we got 234. Actually, let's do 232 first, because that's going up to the top, just like that. And 232. Is gonna go in the back just like that and where is that gonna go that's gonna go they don't show where it's gonna go but we'll be hopefully I'll be able to tell oh yeah it's gonna go right here just like that so so my friends, we got the front mast on, we've got the sails on, we got the rigging. So let me take you off the uh, tripod and I'll show you what we've <laughs> How done. cool is this looking, guys? So you can see, we secured the, the mast. Uh, I'm sorry, we did the, the bow. And we did the sticks or the strips that brought out the detail on the sides of the ship. We did the ghoul faces. I'm getting close for you guys. And then we went up and we did the forward mast. The sails. And we did the rigging. That's going to go down to the front of the ship. I mean, we did all three masts, uh, the sails. Let me... Um, let me go ahead and put the one on the back on. All right, so we did the mast in the back of the ship. We put the sails on. We did the ones in the middle too, the main mast, but I'll put that on in our next video as we put the rigging. The instructions are gonna call for this to go in first, and then we're gonna put in some more rat lines and we're gonna do some more things to it. We're gonna add some more items. I think we're gonna put a sail in the front, but this is the way the instructions are going to leave off for now. You can see all the way up to the top, we've got crow's nest, we've got the uh, rat line. Do you love how the, the sails look all tattered? Down to the ship. You've got the, the wheel in the back, and you've got that, the wheel for the anchor. We got the steps leading up to the decks. And we got the, don't you, the, the sails look great. They're all ratted. Again, the, uh, the 
the strips on the side of the ship going up to the, uh, the bow. And we have the sails. <laughs> I love it. It's just incredible. Let me turn the ship around and I'll show you guys the other side that we did. All right. She's starting to look really great, guys. Look at that. Look at that mean looking bow. We got the rigging that's going to go up through the sails. You can see we've got the rat lines. We got a crow's nest. We got some rigging. We got the sails that are all billowed and tatted. You can see the cargo hatch. You see it going down below deck. We got the the side planks going back to the ship that we had done the woodwork it would have been nice if they would have given strips for the back um, but they didn't you can see all the ghoul faces right up to the front This is just so much fun. I actually hope you guys are having as much fun watching this as I am making it. Because it's just, <laughs> it's a blast and it's perfect for Halloween. Let me get a, try to bring the camera out so you guys can get the scale of the ship. Let's see the back that we had done. The rudder. The bottom of the ship. I'm probably going to tape that seam. We had the uh, the strips that really helped with the seams, and I put a couple of pieces of tape on the bow to hold that together. You can see right up to the top. I want to keep going, guys, but I know this video has been really long, and I'm going to have to go ahead and edit it all. But it's just so much fun. I just wanted to keep going. Let's zoom in now on the. Uh, the woodwork, the ghoul faces, the strips along the ship, the bow, we got the rigging, starting to look really cool guys, love it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys very soon in another video. We're probably, the next video is probably going to finish her off. And we'll get a chance to light her up.